Hey, welcome to this week's video. I thought it might be a good time to have a little chat. There have been a lot of questions that have come my way, maybe a little bit of confusion, concern about my personal life, what's going on, um, the content on my YouTube channel. I don't know. I feel like there's, there's a lot of uncertainty and um, there's definitely complexity to, to all of this. And I really wanted to try to address as many things as I possibly can, as sensitively as I can, um, discreetly as I can, but still be very open and transparent with you, which is something that I have always been from the get-go. So let's rewind a little bit and kind of get to the heart of the matter. You know, a while ago, I had posted on my Instagram story. It was a message, a video recorded message about my personal life and the fact that at that time, Nick and I were separating. A good number of you saw it, but a lot of people hadn't seen it. And so, you know, the rumor mill started going and a lot of comments would start popping up on my Instagram feed, my um, Facebook feed, posts, whatnot, a lot of questions. And so I would try to answer and address as many as I could there. Then I thought it would be important to address that in a YouTube video, but I didn't want to make a whole video about my personal life. So I did the 83 questions video, which really tackled a lot of things because it obviously showed me in my new home environment, talked about a lot of personal things. Um, I was able to address my divorce situation, which at that point it had turned into um, filing for divorce and proceeding with that and basically sharing my life and talking about the changes and the transition and all of it. Like I said, I've always wanted to be transparent with you. But as you know, during a period of divorce, you are limited in what you can say, number one. And number two, it's, you know, it is a private matter between two people. And while there is this intense and innate curiosity to figure out what happened, what happened, why, you know, and then of course the rumor mill goes wild and there's crazy speculation and, you know, all, just falsehoods left and right. But it is what it is, and it's it's just it's just what happens. So, at any rate, I think where it got awfully confusing, and the part there are several parts that I want to address. The first being, you know, it was a conscious choice with my family to open up my family and put them on this platform. So, you know exposing that and doing travel vlogs and, and videos together and all of that, yes, you know, was sharing what my marriage was like, what a blended family was like, how, you know, you can do it, how you can make things work. Um, you know, there were most certainly upsides and positive moments in my marriage. There's no question. Anybody who has been through this situation can look back and reflect and say, sure, there were great times and great moments, experiences, you know, um, things that brought two people together. What never gets talked about or highlighted or shared or discussed, unless in an intimate setting, are the areas where things aren't working so well, where there may be decay or neglect or erosion and you know, if, if left unaddressed can really lead to bigger problems and, and greater feelings of discontent. So, you know, as my public life is carrying on and is being put on display, there is unfortunately this need to continue what it is that the viewer has come to expect. And that is this, you know, portrayal of a nucleus and a unit that is, you know, functioning and thriving and all of that. And, you know, that is, that is a hard thing to keep up with and to do when things are not going so well behind the scenes. 
and there's an incredible pressure in internal pressure pressure from the audience you know where's so and so where's where's this person i mean, where's the dog i haven't seen him so there's this constant need to continue to feed what's already been started and created and it doesn't allow any space really to deal with things on a personal level and to try to have a personal life when in fact you are a public life and a public figure and all of that. And so therein lies tremendous complexity and, um, you know, just difficulty in, in navigating all of that. You know, I, I love my work. I love my audience. I love what has been created here. I love this space. I love how it makes me feel. I love being able to connect with women of a certain age and share and, and be vulnerable and all of that. Um, but at the same time, I feel really caught between a rock and a hard place because I can't um, fully share you know, every intimate detail. I can't um, fully have you understand me and what led to this. You know, I, I truly believe that if we were able to sit down in a one-on-one -on -one intimate conversation, woman to woman, and I were to share my personal story and why things turned out the way they did, you might look at me and nod and say, you know what, I get you. I, I, I get you, you know, I get it. And that's, you know, I'm not, you, you just can't win <laughs> is, is I guess what I'm trying to say. And I'm not, I'm not looking to win, um, but I guess the moral of the story is you can't please everybody. That's something that I learned a long time ago from my work in television news. There will always be people who won't like you, won't like what you say, what you do, how you look, how you act. It's just, it is the way that it is. And so in my effort to try and be transparent in the box, because I'm, you know, I, I can only be so transparent. And like I said, I only want to be so transparent, just out of complete respect, because, you know, everybody deserves that. Um, you know, I feel like there's just been this confusion about, well, okay, she addressed that she's getting a divorce, but now she's, you know, going on with a skincare video or a yoga video or Valentine's gift video or, you know, this or that. It's like life is normal. And, you know, there, there's a huge part of me that really needs for life to be normal. You know, I am... I'm a producer, I'm a worker, I always have been. And I enjoy producing content for you. I enjoy producing a wide range of content because it reflects who I am as a person. You know, I'm not just hair, makeup, and skin, but I'm health and wellness and lifestyle and, and faith and spirituality and, you know, all of that. And so I like to bring all of that to the equation here on this platform. And so, you know, I think, it's like some people say you're too happy, you're carrying on like normal, life isn't normal, or, you know, if my tone seems a little bit somber, or if I have a look or an expression in an Instagram post, then people say you're sad, you're crying. <laughs> so I don't know what I am. Maybe all those things, you know, maybe, maybe I'm happy and sad and laughing and crying and and, and that's true, that is, my, that is my world and that is my existence at this moment. But I am trying to carry on, and I think any woman who has been through a divorce can acknowledge and understand and appreciate that, that through the emotionality of it and through you know, the pain and the change and the transition, you must carry on you must. You must for yourself. You must for your child, children, family, um, you know, finances. I've got, a, I've got bills to pay. You know, I've got a life to lead. And 
and money to save and tuck away just like you do and a kid to get through college. Um, you know, I have worked since I'm 13 and a half years old every year since. I've never, ever stopped working and I don't plan on stopping because I love to work. I love to produce. I need to produce. I, you know, I need it. And, you know, I think people have this impression that I don't have to work for another day in my life. And that's not true at all. That's not true at all. So I have a living to make and, um, and a part of making that living is a new book release that's coming out that's really a culmination of um, just incredible cathartic work on my end, you know, starting that book in 2018. And um, the book is not about me at all, at all. The book is about you and living your best life. And, you know, I do use um, quite a few personal stories. You know, I've been through a lot of ups and downs a lot, many of which, you know, you'll read about for the first time. And, you know, you'll understand and appreciate me better, I think, and maybe understand how I got to my philosophy and my belief system. But I'm so, I'm so proud of the work and that I was, you know, gifted with the opportunity. And I say gifted because I do believe that it was a gift from God to be able to write the book and then to be connected to the people to facilitate it and make it happen. So, you know, I'm also promoting that because that's coming down the pike real quick. And I think that's something else that you see, you know, is me in that zone and that mode. And so I'm wearing a lot of hats right now. And you're probably wondering, well, how does that feel? You know, you're going through a divorce, dealing with all the legal stuff, the financial stuff, the, you know, continuing to work stuff, promote a book stuff, <laughs> raise a child, um, you know, care for an aging parent. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot, a lot of stuff. And so I, um, I guess I just felt that I needed to talk about it and share it and acknowledge it because I think a lot of you were maybe hoping that I would go there and within a certain context, talk about as much as I can talk about and share a little bit more. Um, I, I know a certain percentage of you appreciate the fact that I have carried on with content on YouTube and, and have been happy that I've been able to do that. And it's, you know, provided a lovely distraction for me in a way to think about new video ideas and new things to be able to present to you. And, and again, just put my head in my work. You know, that has always been my saving grace is my ability to work and produce and the joy that I get from it. It brings me so much joy and I love what I do. And, and I love that, you know, this is no longer a hobby for me, but this is my job. You know, this is my ability to make a living. This is my ability to be the curator of my own content now and say and write and speak to the things that speak to me. And that's a really, really neat thing to be able to say and to be able to do. And so I'm so, so grateful for it and for you, because, you know, if you weren't here, then this would be going out to nobody. <laughs> so, you know, we've built this um, amazing lasting relationship. And I felt I kind of owed it to you in a way to um, solidify this relationship with some real honest discussion about what's going on in my life, how I feel about what's going on in my life, um, you know, as, as best as I can, as best as I can. Um, I have, I have definitely faced um, a large brunt of criticism, harshness, judgment, mean-spiritedness in the comment section of, you know, social media, of videos, and I guess, you know, that's par for the course of being a public figure and having something happen that may not align with other people's belief systems or likes. You know, I, like I said, you, you can't please everybody all the time, and I know that. Um, the difficult part about what I do 
is that being in a public forum, it leaves me exposed to that negativity and that nastiness that can come. Lucky for me, I have dealt with it for 28 years. I do have a pretty thick shell, so I can get through it without it damaging me as a person and how I think and feel about myself. What I don't like about those things is the fact that you have to see it and read it. And I know that a lot of you kind of feel compelled to jump in and come to my defense during those moments or, or those comments. And I feel badly that you have to see that and are exposed to that. And so I'm just going to ask, you know that old expression, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So, you know, you may not like my situation, you may not understand it, agree with it, you may not like me, you may not like the fact that I've written a book, you may not like, you know, anything. And you don't have to follow me, you don't have to be here, you don't have to subscribe, you don't have to like, you just, you don't have to. That would be my encouragement if you don't like, but can I ask that you refrain from putting hurtful things out there because I think the world has enough of that. I think that's one of the biggest complaints about where we've gone in this social media consumption is that everybody has a voice and a platform and I call it keyboard courage where you can write and say and do as you please without um, consequence and you know, I know and you know that if given the chance to say it to my face, those things probably wouldn't get said. So I really am hopeful that we can keep the content, comments, all of that as positive as possible and stay away from the hurt and the ugliness. You know, if, if not for me, then maybe your fellow women who are on this platform who will be exposed to it as well. Um, you know, I guess, I guess that's about all there is for me to address. I had planned for a Valentine's makeup look to air today, and the video is complete, and I don't want to can it completely because I think it's, you know, a nice video. A lot of you are in, most of you are in a very different place than me. You know, you may have plans to go out on Valentine's Day to celebrate with a loved one or with, you know, a Galentine's or, um, you know, even if you're alone and by yourself. I think that, you know, sometimes taking care of you and doing something for you is really, really important to make you feel good about where you are in the moment. So I'm going to air that video tomorrow, um, usual time, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. So at least you'll have a Valentine's makeup video to use for the weekend, no matter when you're choosing to celebrate the day. But um, that's it. Just wanted to have this little heart to heart um, and this open discussion. And I hope you receive it. Um, you know, I, I prayed hard before even talking and doing this um, for guidance and for wisdom and for you know, knowing if it's the right thing to do, but I've always believed that truth and transparency and just being real is always the right thing to do. So I thank you for your listening ear, um, and I thank you for your understanding. And for those of you, by the way, who are going through something similar, I am with you, and I understand, and I know it's not easy, and I'm, you know, I, I get it. I get it. So, um, Anyway, thank you.